Hello, it's Patrick here from the GarageBandGuide.com. When Apple introduced iOS 13 and iPadOS in 2019, they made it abundantly clear that inter-app audio was on the way out. Audio units, or AUV3 as they are also known, are now the preferred way to link third-party music-making apps to your iOS DAW of choice. In this video, I'll show you how to use these AUV3 apps with GarageBand. There are two types of AUV3 compatible apps that you can use with GarageBand. Instruments apps and effect apps. Some examples of audio unit instrument apps would be synths like Clevgren's Hillman, Belize's Alpha, or Sugar Bites Factory. To add an AUV3 instrument to your GarageBand project, head to the Sound Browser. Make your way to the External section and tap on Audio Unit Extensions. Here you'll find a list of AUV3 compatible instruments that you already have installed on your iDevice. If I pick Audio Kit's excellent D1 synth here, you'll see it load up in GarageBand with GarageBand's on-screen keyboard below D1's interface. I can interact with it the same way I would if it were in standalone mode, and when I'm ready to record, I do it the same way I would with any regular GarageBand native instrument. The other type of AUV3 apps are effects. Examples would be Audio Damage's Rough Rider 3 Compressor, Clevgren's Stark Amp Simulator, or Imaginando's K7D Tape Saturation Effect. You'll be adding these AUV3 effects to an existing track. So in GarageBand's Track View, select the track you want to apply the effect to, tap the Controls button, and then tap Plugins and EQ. Next, tap Edit, and you'll see four empty plugin slots appear. Tap a green plus icon, and you'll see a list of GarageBand's built-in effects. Tap the Audio Unit Extensions tab here, and select the audio unit you want to add. I'll add Eventide's Black Hole Reverb effect, and if I click on it in the plugin list, you'll see its interface appear. From here, I can adjust all of its settings and parameters the same way I would if it were in standalone mode. So there you have it, that's how to use AUV3 or audio unit instruments and effects in GarageBand. If you're just getting started with GarageBand on iPad or iPhone, or just want a refresh on the basics, you need to check out my beginner's guide, Getting Started with GarageBand. It's a completely free resource that aims to help GarageBand for iOS beginners get to grips with how the app works in a straightforward and easy to understand way. I'll put a link to that down in the description below. How do you feel about Apple giving inter-app audio the old Eve Ho? Do you prefer AUV3? As always, I'd love you to share your thoughts in the comments below. I've been Patrick from thegaragebandguide.com and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.